instantaneous acceleration we have to define instantaneous acceleration for that we can draw velocity time graph of a body moving with acceleration along vertical axis velocity is plotted along horizontal axis time is plotted and this is velocity hyphen time graph velocity time graph a and b are the two points on this velocity time graph we can draw a perpendicular a in on time axis at n t equal to t second similarly we can draw another perpendicular bm at which t is equal to t plus delta t t plus delta t and also at the point a the body has the velocity has the instantaneous velocity v and at the point b that is at instant t equal t plus delta t the body has the velocity v plus delta v v plus delta v and we can uh, draw the line ac also the length of bc is delta v and length of ac is delta t where delta t is a very small interval of time delta t is a very small interval of time uh, and that is also the time taken by the body to move from a to b delta v is the very small change in velocity or very small increase in velocity very small increase that is change in velocity of the body if the body travels from the point a to b therefore instantaneous acceleration ai will be equal to delta v by delta t delta v by delta t before that we can write limit delta t tends to zero here limit delta t tends to zero means delta t is very small interval of time delta t is uh, the very small interval of time so we get the expression of instantaneous acceleration which is ai and delta t tends to uh, limit delta t tends to zero can be written as limit lim delta t tends to zero ai is equal to limit delta t tends to zero delta v by delta t which is the instantaneous acceleration of a body which is the instantaneous acceleration of a body at the point a that is at the instant t equal t second ai is equal limit delta t tends to zero delta v by delta t which is the instantaneous acceleration of a body at the point a at the instant t equal t second delta v by delta t is the average acceleration average acceleration of the body that is total change in velocity divided by uh, total change in, in uh, time or uh, total interval of time hence delta v by delta t is the average acceleration therefore we can say that instantaneous acceleration instantaneous acceleration is the limiting value is the limiting value of the average ac acceleration in the interval of time delta t instantaneous acceleration is the limiting value of average acceleration of the body therefore instantaneous acceleration ai is uh, limiting value of average acceleration that is limiting value of delta v by delta t where delta v by delta t is uh, the average acceleration and this is a limiting value of uh, limiting value of average acceleration and limit delta t tends to zero means limiting value of uh, limiting value over very small interval of time limit delta t tends to zero indicates that we are considering limiting value over a small interval of time and uh, o is the initial o is the origin uh, origin and a is the initial point from which the body starts its motion at instant t equal t second and at the point b the time t is equal to t plus delta t and at the point b the velocity is v plus delta v and at the point a instantaneous acceleration is ai and instantaneous acceleration ai is equal to limit delta t tends to zero limit delta t tends to zero and here instantaneous acceler average acceleration between the two points a and b is a average equal delta v by delta t 
and at the point a instantaneous acceleration is ai which is the limiting value of delta v by delta t that is the limiting value of average acceleration of the body during that interval of time ai is the instantaneous acceleration of the body at a at instant t equal t second at instant t equal t second again writing the same expression of instantaneous acceleration that is ai is equal to limit delta t tends to zero delta v by delta t we know that dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to zero delta y by delta x delta y is small change in y small change in the uh, change in value of y and dy is very small change in y delta y is small change in y but dy is very small change in y very small change in value of y therefore ai is equal to dv by dt instantaneous acceleration ai is equal to dv by dt therefore ai equal to ddt of v ai is equal to limit delta t tends to zero delta v by delta t and similarly ai has the expression dv by dt or ai is equal to uh, ddt of v that is the instantaneous acceleration of the body at instant t equal t second in this case ddt is the first order derivative first time derivative or first order derivative with respect to time therefore instantaneous acceleration is also instantaneous acceleration is also the first time derivative first time derivative first time derivative of velocity instantaneous acceleration is also the first time derivative of the velocity of the body at a given instant at a given instant t equal t second at a given instant t equal t second again ai is uh, written as ddt of v and where instantaneous velocity v is equal to ds by dt that is ddt of s ds is small change in displacement and dt is small interval of time now putting the expression of v we get ddt of ddt s now it can be written as d square by dt square s d square by dt square s now uh, d square by d square t square cannot be written here we have to write d square by dt square s finally we get the expression of instantaneous acceleration that is ai is equal to d square by dt square s therefore instantaneous acceleration is instantaneous acceleration is the second time derivative second time derivative of displacement second time derivative of displacement under bracket s of the body of the body at uh, the given instant at the given instant t equal t second ai is equal d square by dt square of s so instantaneous acceleration is the second time derivative of displacement so we can write down the three expression of instantaneous acceleration one is ai equal limit delta t tends to zero delta v by delta t ai is equal to ddt of v and also ai equal to d, d square by dt square of s so instantaneous acceleration has the three expression and vector ai is equal to d square by dt square of displacement vector s